So to, to add the ES ESXi servers to your vCenter, first of all I'm going to log in, okay, on our vCenter server. Launch vSphere web client. Log into your username and password. Allow the Flash Player. If you do not have the Flash Player, first of all, install on your computer. This is the interface of your vCenter server. It's known as the vSphere web client. We call this interface we say vSphere web client. Okay. So I'm just yeah. ESXi. So to add the ESXi servers in your vCenter, first of all, you need to make a data center. Okay. So go to here, select home. Okay. So this is your home interface. You can select the host and cluster, so there is no host and cluster. So first of all, right click on your v, uh, on your this node, vCenter dot anti virtual lab, and make a new data center. So I'm going to mm, give a name like training. So our data center name is training. Okay. Now we have a data center inside your vCenter, then right click to add a ESXi host inside your data center right click on the data center and click add host right click and click on add host so you need to provide the fully qualified domain name or IP address of your ESXi host ok select and type ESXi ok next put your credential of your ESXi host server there is a certificate alert click yes then there is the details this is your name the vendor is VMware model version is 7.1 and the version of your ESXi is 6.7 and on this is ESXi host, you have three virtual machines. Next. There is the license. So it's an evolution license. You want to add some commercial enterprise license. You can purchase the license from the VMware and add here. So this license will be expired within the 60 days. Okay. Next. Lockdown modes, normal modes. We disable the lockdown modes. Okay. Basically, if you, if you enable, like if you enable the normal mode, so you can access your ESXi host using the vCenter or using the EXI console. If you restrict, then you can access only to the vCenter server. Okay, the direct user console will be stopped. So we disable the lockdown mode. Next, then the VM locations. So there is no location for the VM, so we select the in the data center. Next, okay. The overview finish. So now you have an ESXi server. Uh, there is an uh, icon like it's loading, it's fetching the information. So it's uh, take a little bit time to fetch all kind of information like the virtual machines data center. Now, now it's clear. So now on this ESXi server, you have the three virtual machines. Okay and you check the summary like from here like your names number of the processors number of the NICs number of the virtual machines and the status uptime the CPU utilization memory utilization storage utilization and you can drop and you can check your other configuration like hardware configuration from here okay and your 
other configuration like software configuration for tolerance these are not supported okay you monitor your ASXI server from here like the all issues or triggered alarms or performance okay task resource utilizations hardware status you can monitor all kind of things from there like the other CPU utilization there is a graph okay and the configuration you can configure the storage networking on your ESXi server so if you check the network adapter they have a single network adapter if you check the storage device so it's fetching okay yeah it's in physical yeah doesn't matter you are using the physical or the virtual ones all things are same so on this server um, ESXi host you have two local storage one is your disk one is your CD drive okay like you want to re uh, you can perform the actions on this like you can rescan the storage so you can refresh from here okay yeah no on on, on your first ESXi center yeah yeah more than one one data center so let us start the another one yes access hour so I'm going to right click again on our data center and add a host and select your another yes access hour so yes xi geo2 dot you can use the IP address or the fully qualified domain name okay next same username your password accept the license so on this host there is a no virtual machines and the name and the version is there assign license same have the evolution license disable the lockdown modes VM location is training ready to complete finish okay So it's fetching the information okay now you can monitor your data center you can monitor your particular ESXi server you can monitor and manage your whole data center like from the training you can ch check the summary so in the summary is showing the CPU utilization okay in, in the memory it's showing the capacity is 40 GB because we have the 20 GB on each host servers on the monitor you can check the CPU utilizations and other uh, kind of the you money like you can configure you can check your virtual machines so in this data center we have three virtual machines you can check your data storage okay so you have two data storage on each host server there is a network so you have a VM network and there is the update manager okay sorry yeah. So. Yeah. So now we are going to create some folders on our data center, like the virtual machines, templates, host servers. So I'm going to right-click on the training and new folder and select which type of folder for the host and clusters. And I'm putting like lab hosts okay Lab hosts okay we create another folder like the virtual machine and templates lab VMs you can create the folders like that create another folder like inside yeah inside the data center another folder like lab templates lab templates okay then you can move your host servers inside the, this folder okay, so using the drag and drop yes. Sorry. Now, 
in the host in this node you have to like that you can move your virtual machines like you have three virtual machines so you can drag in your lab lab VMs if you have any template you can move in VM template so we use those folders in our later labs okay so in the labs you have like that so um, here you have four nodes this is the node for your host and clusters this is the node for your virtual machine and templates there is the node for the storage there is the node for networking if you select the like this one so it will show the storage so you have two data storage if you select the network it will show the network in your data center if you select host it will show the host servers it will select VM it will show the VM and templates or you can go here and you choose like the VM and template storage network content libraries there is the different different nodes here there is a shortcut you can refresh this menu from here okay from this bu refresh button yeah yeah by default or you can create a new machine let's suppose you want to create a new machine no, so go to training ASXI? yeah inside the ASXI okay. go to training yes. and like new virtual machine okay. you select on which ES ESXi server you want to add on which network you want to connect on which data store you want to store like all type of yeah so we have the separate uh, labs for that one okay so like that you can add so we create the data center object we make the ESXi host entries like configure the ESXi as a NTP server an NTP client so configure your uh, configure through the here to configure your ESXi host to use the NTP client like for time synchronization yeah if you have an NTP server I go to the configure you can add the service any here you can make the profiles okay, so I'm not going to make any profiles or kind of things yeah you can make but uh, the domain controller will not hold any NTP server it's work like that one basically it's uh, synchronize the time on the domain join machines yes. not on a standalone machine okay 